Hey guys, how's it going? Just me, Nesto2 here, with another review for you. And today we're taking a look at, from Toy Biz, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, Deluxe Horse and Rider Set, Arwen, and Asflak. I hope I pronounced the horse's name right. Anyways, I no longer have this figure in the package, so what I'm going to do is show you a picture, so you can get the idea. And here they are, out of the package, just aching to be reviewed. If you recall, a while back I reviewed uh, the Deluxe Horse and Rider set of uh, Aragorn and his horse. Then you know what you're getting into here. And I'm pretty excited. This is a nice set. It's cool. Because with two figures and a horse. But no other accessories though. A little disappointing, but what are you going to do? Let's take a look at the figures. First we'll be taking a look at Frodo here. <laughs> Frodo. <laughs> He's uh, almost a statue. Because, uh, you know, according to this set, this is the scene where Erwin is escaping, you know, so he has to be in front of her and he's supposed to be sick and he's not doing anything. This is representing that scene, so you don't need Frodo to do anything. So he's just in like, you know, sitting on horse mode here, pre-posed. But yeah, he still has a lot of good detail and sculpt and paint. It's awesome. And look at his face. <laughs> and he has a, an actual hoodie. It's cloth material, it's green. Just like it should be. Can you take it off? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh yeah, you can take it off. I don't think I want to though. I don't want it to be a pain in the butt to put it back on. And look at this! <laughs> Anyways, the articulation is only one. One point of articulation, that's a swivel in the head. There you go. So you can look straight, left and right, and that's it. Can I go up and down? It's not a ball joint. Look at his hands. His hands are big. Zan's and his feet. Look at that. <laughs> the bottom of his feet is actually sculpted. Look at that, his toes. It's awesome. And if you're asking if it looks like Elijah Wood, uh, somewhat. Yeah, it's not bad at all. <laughs> and here is Erwin. And boy, does she look good. Look at that sculpt. It's fucking awesome. I mean, like, I'm gonna say. Toy Biz here is like on the same scale as NECA on some of these Lord of, the, Lord of the Ring figures when it comes to sculpt, detail, and paint. It's amazing. So great. Look at that. The hair sculpt. So good. It's a rubbery piece. A little bit of shading, but not much. And that's not a big deal. Look at that. It's all wavy. All wavy to the side in the wind. It's all rubbery, so it's not heavy at all. It's cool. You got the ears. She's got uh, actually like, you know, detail paint on her cheeks. It's like all pinkish. <laughs> I think it looks like the actress, yeah. Probably like 90%, maybe more. The one thing I'm seeing that's lacking on attention to detail is uh, she's not, she doesn't have her scratch. On that scene she's running, you know, she's riding the horse and she runs right through a tree and gets scratched on her cheek. She doesn't have that. I mean, I guess you could argue, you know, oh, it's, I guess you could say, you know, it's the part where she's riding right before she hits the tree, so yeah. I guess. Why not? And the rest of her body looks good. Look at this. This is all hard plastic right here. And the sculpt is top notch. Look at that. Good paint shading as well. And it's got the designs on her shirt. And her clothes. Great. And uh, down here, it's actually cloth material for her dress thing. It's really good. It's really nice. Look at that. This part right here is rubbery. And all this is cloth material. There's two. Wow, that's great. I really like it. I'm not even a, a fan of this character that much. She's okay, I got nothing against her. But I think I like the figure more than the actual character. It's really good. You can see her hair is kind of sticking out. It represents, you know, she's riding in the wind. Her boots. It's nice. She's got purple pants in there. A lot of, a lot of different colors in there too. I feel like, yeah, it's shading. You know, it makes it look like it's not like perfectly clean. She's out there riding a horse, you know. Boots are really high up there. But yeah. So our, her articulation, let's get into it. She has a swivel on her head. You go know, left and right, just fine. She can't go up and down at all, though. Swivel on the shoulders. Go all the way around if you wanted to. Single hinge in the elbow right there. And wrist swivel right there. Her hands are really open, gripped. I guess for the horse, the actual, you know, the ropes. 
I noticed this is uh, really rubbery as well. At the hinge right here, it's really rubbery. I guess for the actual cover, covering this part right here, the hand. So it's really rubbery. Same thing on this side. And waist twist, there is. So that's good. And the legs are different. If you saw my review of Aragorn, then you know what's going on with the legs here. So you lift up her dress, see her purple pants. And she has a swivel right here. And she can go up this far. Keep going all the way back as well. And it doesn't look right right here. That's because the legs are a different material. Right here there's a swivel for the, the thighs right there. But that's about it. The rest is uh, not plastic. It's like rubber and Y. So she can actually fit on the horse. So, you know, the joint is inside the knee. So you just, you know, click it like that. And there it is. So it's basically hidden. So instead of less, you know, less plastic, just do one and put the joint inside. That's pretty smart. But the figure does suffer from uh, feet. You know, it's hard for her to stand now because she has no joints in the ankles. So same thing on this leg as well. And yeah. The figure does come with one gimmick and that is right here in the back. Push this button and the batteries are in here. And her even star lights up. Look at that. Whoa. How old is this figure? And yet it still lights up. Pretty damn strong too. It's nice. This figure does not come with any accessories. So she doesn't have her sword, which she should have, if anything. Aragorn came with a lot of accessories. So you can give her, you have an extra sword to give her from another figure. And you can put it on her hand. But her hand is too opened. She's not going to hold it. You know, it's not gripped. Unless maybe you hot water it. And then keep it in place. But it's not going to stay. Maybe this side, yeah. But she ain't going to hold it tight. So that kind of sucks. And here is the horse. It looks really good. It's phenomenal. It's fantastic. And no, this is not the same body mold of the other horse from uh, Aragorn. Okay, maybe from like the neck and down it could be. <clears throat> but the saddle is different and the head is different. And I'll show you later on. <clears throat> so this horse is white. It's got some gray shading here and there. It looks good. Look at it. it's even got the detail on the actual, you know, shoe horse. Horseshoe. Really nice. Look at that. It's awesome. So it has a strap right here. It's actually a rubbery piece with the paint details that you're gonna need. It's awesome. This saddle right here, you can put the feet. Here's where here's where it, she would sit. Look at the hair right here. The hair's like all, to, all off to the side right here and it has a lot of gray in there. The hair on the horse comes down here over her face. It's cool. So for articulation, all she can do is uh, back here. She can, uh, you know, hinge right here. Go forward and back. And at the ankles, go back and forth. Same thing on this leg as well. And over here, these are different due to the gimmick that it has. Just like the other one, you know, you push it right here, the button, it is not hidden, so that kind of sucks. And then the legs move. Ready? Let's go. Galloping action. That's what it's called. However, the head is different, though. The head on the other figure, the other horse, was a lot better than this one. I guess because I bought this one loose, and that's why. So it might have, that might, that might be the reason why. So I can do this. I can put the head down, but it doesn't look like it wants to stay. It's supposed to stay. I can't go up either. I can't do the side to side thing. Something's wrong with it. I'm not sure what happened, but it's not a big deal, I guess. And here is the rope for the horse that she's going to be holding. Erwin? Yeah. It's awesome. And here are both horses, so you can see the differences. You can already tell right here the rubbery pieces, the straps, whatever, they're different. You can see how the hair right here, they're different as well. And the hair, you know, goes this way. This one goes that way. See that? It's not the same. The saddle is different as well. Look at that. That's awesome. I appreciate that. I appreciate this toy biz. You have no idea. Her height is about six and a half inches tall. And to give you an idea, here are some other figures. Here is from NECA, the first Hunger Games movie, Cadmus Everdeen. That's a pretty good size, I like it. And here is Aragorn, the figure that came with the brown horse that you saw earlier. 
And yes, I have to hold him because he's not going to stand. The reason why the horse is in the background is to hold her up. And he's, uh, her hair is touching the horse, you know, his isn't, so he's just going to fall back if I don't hold him. So you get the idea. She looks a little bit taller than him. I'm not sure if that's accurate. It might be. And here we got some more figures next to Irwin. We got from Diamond Select, Deluxe Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And also from Hasbro, Marvel Legends, Infinite Series, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Black Widow. <sighs> I hate these long ass names, jeez. And here is Frodo in a size comparison. Here is from NECA, Kick-Ass 2, The Dog from Colonel Stars and Stripes. And from Mattel, DC Universe Classics, Kid Flash. And here is Frodo riding the dog from Kick-Ass 2. And here is Frodo riding Tuscadon from McFarlane Spawn the Dark Ages. So my final thoughts on this figure with this figure set, it's awesome. It's epic almost. The only thing missing is like a couple accessories for her, you know, like her sword. But that's about it. The rest is awesome. The detail is great. The paint is great. The articulation is decent for what the set is representing. So it's not bad. I can live with it. The gimmick is unneeded for me, but the fact that it's there, it's fine. I don't mind. It's awesome. I wish toy companies would still make figures like this. Only NECA does stuff like this. Toy Biz giving you everything you want. But, you know, they're gone now. Their days are long gone. They've still got Hasbro. Hasbro just fucking us over. It's really annoying. But yeah, this set, pretty epic. I like it a lot. There is no secret way to have her on the horse here. They both just, you know, you just put them on there. There's, You just place them on there. There's no trick to it. There's no pegs. They just go on there just like that. So yeah, that was my review on Erwin and her horse, Oscloth. I think I'm pronouncing it right, hopefully I am, and little sick photo. <laughs> but yeah, great figure, I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, that's really good. One more point would have been perfect, but it's not perfect just by one point. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next. All right. Thanks for watching guys.